seven. Uh, it's somewhat similar to the, the last one with a bunch of smooth muscle. One of those suggest anal genital skin cell, like medium raphe cyst. Yeah, median raphe cyst, and oh, is it not going to focus? Come on. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, looks kind of like skin out here, but as you get over to this side, you can tell that it's actually stratified squamous epithelium with a uh, pale kind of cytoplasm and no granular layer. So this is squamous mucosa. You can particularly see it over here. It definitely looks like mucosa. And look what we see in the, uh, the submucosa or dermis, sometimes in sites where the skin and the uh, mucosa blend together, like in this, which is, this is uh, the ventral surface of the gland's penis in this particular case. It can be hard to tell whether you're actually dealing with dermis or submucosa. So sometimes I'll, in my report, say dermis slash submucosa in areas like this because there's not a, a discrete dividing line. And look at all these bright pink uh, bundles here. These are all smooth muscle. Whenever you see skin or, again, mucosa with a, a lot of uh, smooth muscle bundles under them, uh, always think about the, um, the, uh, the penis or the scrotum or, in a woman, uh, the vulva because you have smooth muscle bundles under the skin um, in those locations. But here we have a cyst, and it's filled with kind of a, a secretion that's thick in the middle. It's kind of inspissated secretion. Let's go look at the lining cells. And we've got kind of a nice uh, columnar lining here. There's a little simple cuboidal basal layer, and then a nice uh, single layer of columnar cells. And in this case, you could almost wonder if they've got either apocrine snouts or kind of cilia. It's really hard to tell, actually. I think it's probably more like apocrine snouts. But we've got this columnar lining. Um, sometimes it can be pseudostratified columnar, but it can be also more squamoid or have other types of lining. It really varies. The key to making the diagnosis of this is the location. This is on the midline ventral surface of the penis, often near the gland, sometimes in the scrotum, and this is a median raphe cyst. So median raphe cyst, really the only location is it's going to occur in the, the median raphe, which is that line that runs down the midline on the ventral side of the penis from the glands down the shaft of the penis and along the scrotum. It's that kind of fusion plane, um, uh, if you think back to embryology, which I can barely do, but embryologically those two uh, uh, side, the bilateral parts of the, I think the genital fold, if I recall correctly, fuse together and they leave that little line in the center, which is the median raphe, and a little cyst that can get, um, can, can grow in that um, site is the median raphe cyst. So a nice example of something that I also don't see. These are one of the, one of those uncommon cysts that I rarely actually encounter in my practice. So a nice example uh, to get to see something that's uncommon. And again, look at all the, the smooth muscle bundles in the background. And also note the presence of abundant nerves. Um, in the glands penis particularly, there are not only a bunch of smooth muscle bundles, but there is a, a rich concentration of nerves, obviously a very uh, sensitive anatomic site that needs a lot of innervation. So that's nerve all right here. And these are all smooth muscle bundles. Uh, median raphe cyst.